Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP EliteBook 8460p and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can speed up dramatically your laptop as this laptop do are shipped out with an iCore 5, iCore 3 V Pro CPUs and they are really good and fast CPUs but the only thing that makes them go really slow is the mechanical hard drive that they have in them. Because the mechanical hard drive does not kind of bottleneck to the system because of the speed that they have. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can open it up, replace or upgrade them to an SSD solid state drives. There are many solid state drives out there with a low grade solid state drive as a Kingston or ADATA or ADATA. But I would recommend you guys to grab a Samsung brand SSD or any crucial brand SSDs, which are one of the best brands or whatever you want I'll leave the good brand SSD in a video description if you need or maybe you are okay with a mechanical drive you want to suffer go ahead and upgrade it to two terabyte mechanical drive if you want to but in this video a client brought me uh, his own SSD which is a low grade Kingston A400 240 gig SSD and we're gonna remove the mechanical drive and replace it with this one also remember once you do this upgrade you will not have any operating system on the new drive as these are empty drives so you want to back up your files data you want in a cloud or external hard drive and you have to install the windows freshly installed i do not recommend you to do a cloning from mechanical to an ssd if you're going from mechanical to mechanical then you should go ahead and do some sort of cloning program you can use but you have to freshly install Windows on an SSD if you're going for mechanical, which is more recommended because we have tried it cloning. You do get some errors, crashes, random crashes, and we tried different programs. They don't work that great. I made a video how you can create Windows 10 USB boot drive. I'll leave that link in my video description if you, in case you don't know how to create Windows 10 boot drive. Another video I made on how you can install it the proper way. All right, so let's get into it and let's get it started. Uh, first thing first, you want to power off the laptop, back up your files. You want to flip it upside down so you can see the bottom cover. First thing first, we want to remove the battery. This should be really easy. There's a battery arrow right there. It says pull this to the left. So pull it to the left and slide the battery backward. And there we have it. Now to remove the cover, there's a cover picture right here. You have to pull this one to the right. If it doesn't come all the way to the right, that means there's a tiny screw in there. Put the screw right for it. If there is no screw, then good. Remove, pull it all the way here, and you're gonna see the cover slightly comes towards you. Pull it and pull this cover towards yourself about half a centimeter. It won't come anymore. And after that, you just wanna lift it up, put it to one side. And right here you can see the whole internal. The hard drive is right under this uh, cover here. You want to lift up this one, pull it up towards the ceiling and towards this side. Kind of lift it up and pull it. So there we have it. This is the same card reader. Why well, I'm thinking it's the same card reader, yes. So there's a same card chip reader right there. And the hard drive is right here. There's a little caddy that holds the hard drive in place. Actually, they give you a nice instruction to remove the screws. So let's go ahead and remove this screw, this screw, and the screw right at the back. The screws do come with a C lock on them. That means they will not come out entirely. So let's go ahead and remove these screws. I'm going to be using an iFixit screwdriver set. I'm going to use a Phillips number zero. There we have it. So once we lose, we're gonna slide this cover towards the side, and then you're gonna get disconnected the SATA connector right there and lift it up a little bit, 45 degree, and then you wanna pull it out. And there we have it. This one is already being changed to a different mechanical. I guess it failed. So we're gonna remove the caddy, which is is being held down by four screws, two on one side and two on the other side. And we're gonna remove the detach the hard drive and we're gonna put the new SSD in there. You have to make sure the SSD connectors are in the same position. You want to put it in the same position. The SATA connector and the um, power connector are facing the same way. You don't want to put it the other way around. Otherwise, it's not going to go through the jack. So I know it's that way. So I'm going to set it right there. And we're going to remove the two screw on one side and two screw on the other side. So two screw right here. 
and two screws right there. Now you're gonna detach the hard drive, bring it to one side, grab your new SSD, you can put a four terabyte SSD if you wish, or up to two or four terabyte mechanical drive, grab the screws, and just put the screws on the side to hold the SSD or the new hard drive in place. There we are. Once you have the new drive in there, you need to put this one here. You want to put the back end underneath here first, you slide it right underneath. And now set it down and then pull it toward the jack. Make sure the connector goes all the way in and put, tighten up the screws at the back and the two screws right on the front end. You don't have to go crazy tightening them up, just firmly, nicely. Grab the cover, lift it up a little bit and put it right underneath. And the last thing down here, it will be to grab the cover, put it in an offset position, in an offset position, and then you want to slide it towards the battery and it's going to lock itself and push it that way. The last thing down here would be to finish it up putting the battery. I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you want to support the channel, you can click that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. If you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video.